just does it bother you a lot when when people break down your lyrics like i see it with you know with cardi b and megan the you now i've seen it with you guys before when they break down your lyrics and talk about what you say and then we talk about it. if you listen to, to the last two decades of music everybody talks about whether it's guns it's drugs it's sex but it seems like they break down women's versus more how do y'all feel about that yeah they just i feel like men is just threatened about the women kind of dominating right now because they so used to being in control of um putting the women on records and now women are starting to team up and do it without them so it's like now they got so much to say because back then you got to get on a hot song with a man to you know go number one or even chart but now women just doing it they self so you know they gonna always have something to say because I've seen somebody say, like, the women dominating now, now niggas about to be video um, dancers. Like, it's going to be it's gonna be a whole different era. So it's just like, it's just, I think it's just like a threat. They want to say it's trash, it's not good, it's just about sex, 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 sex. But just like, we can, I can't mainly say I'm going to go around and shoot up nobody block because I'm not going to go shoot up nobody block. I'm going to just talk about how good my pussy is or how I feel about myself. Mm-hmm. How do you respond to people who criticize female rappers who talk about sex and taking advantage of men in that way? I say shut the fuck up, period. Like, just shut up. Like, I just be feeling like they want attention. It's like, shut up. Like, like, um, Envy just said, they've been talking about this for years, for decades. So, like, why is the problem? Man? Yeah, I think they're not used to the uh, the female street side of things. Cause like JT just said, it ain't like y'all shooting up blocks and stuff, but y'all got different hustles yeah it's like the streets for us like the the finesse and the scamming and the stripping and the all of that that's women stuff so it's a man probably don't understand it mm-hmm. but they the target so they got to get used to it like <laughs> <laughs> all right this is kev and this is black men being brutally honest and uh, there's just just there's a couple of takeaways from that interview. In fact, a few takeaways because this is the mentality that uh, that a lot of men in spaces like this talk about. This is where we're going. And I'm not making this video because I'm mad at Young Miami and JT for what they're saying. I'm actually making this video thanking them because. Any black man that falls for that shit from here on out will be held fully accountable. Granted, they hear this rhetoric. I mean, it's it's not, <laughs> it's no more guessing games. They're telling you literally what their intent is. So if you get fucked over in any way, shape or form in 2020 and beyond, bruh, it's your fault. Because using words like finessing and scamming, just like the little empty headed, bubble headed little girl that's on the screen right now, or was on the screen. <laughs> um, you know, if if you fall for it after they told you that was their intent, it's your fault, bro. It's your fault. These women are ruining the game for hoes, period. Now, um, I got a little slideshow here of, you know, and uh, very familiar faces because basically I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all saying that people got a problem with female rap lyrics. Uh, the, the, and, and the slideshow is going to show you women who are in legendary status in, in most of the cases. They didn't they didn't have to rap garbage shit <laughs> to, to, to get attention I mean let's break down what was said in the interview before you know what I before before they and this and this is even a, a few days before they say something like men should just financially support women they like just cause you know I'll get to that in a little bit as well but it's like guys for real pay attention to these women uh, in, in, in 2020 I'm talking about the Cardi B's and the Megan Thee Stallions and the, and the, well, what's these girls, Young Miami and JT, the city girls, this city girl mentality. They're letting you know, (laughs) they're letting you know, 
And then, and then it's, 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 okay. First of all, females can dominate in rap, but on an individual basis. I, I've never really, like, like uh, to be perfectly honest, I can't think of a female rapper that can just like, okay, put, put them up against, and this is a truth that a lot of you are not going to want to accept. Uh, what female rapper would, you, besides Meek Mill's sister, who doesn't have any like kind of, you know, mainstream recognition, but you know, the uh, only a few circles know about Meek Mill's sister. Uh, how many female MCs you know can actually step up to Jay Z or Kendrick Lamar and just embarrass them into dust? Like, like they should have never. Uh, they should have never rapped in their lives. Like Kendrick Lamar should have been a cashier at McDonald's instead. This female MC is so cold. Like I, I'm serious. I'm serious. I, I can't. I can't think of that. Well, but but to the to their point, they're, they're like females are dominating right now. Just because you have a few hits on the charts does not mean you're dominating. Plus, you know, the whole, the whole, the whole sex dynamic. Now, the women in the slideshow, they knew that they, they, they wanted to be something more than that, even though a lot of, a uh, few of them are shady industry people. Uh, they, 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 they had, they had something to prove when they step into that arena. Because granted, the rap game, the hip hop game, that, that genre of entertainment was still very young when women exploded onto the scene and women exploded onto the scene is battle rappers. Like now, now it's as sensitive of the criticism as today's female quote unquote rappers <laughs> or, or, you know, uh, whole culture entertainment, whatever you want to call that shit. Like they, they, they can't be battle rappers. Seriously. I don't, I don't see Megan like Megan the Stallion might be the closest because she has a little rhythm and cadence with hers. But outside of that, these girls will get smoked, especially by the females of yesterday. The only thing these girls would do, oh, these old bitches, oh, they just oh, they just mad because they need to get out the way, blah blah. Like any kind of like like the dumb reasoning of the city girls. Yeah, let's talk about this dumb reasoning for a second. Young Miami. Uh, did an article like they did an article on Young Miami a while back. Young Miami suggesting that girls should sell their vaginas for a thousand dollars. Like I said, brothers, if you get caught up in some bullshit <laughs> like that, like like you know, men are frowned upon if they trick over five, ten, twenty, forty dollars. Like forty dollars is a joke social media amount. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. So that that's where she at. And then she got pregnant by someone who isn't even a baller for real. Maybe something like a security guard or a janitor or something like that. And I would never ever job shame. I'm just piggybacking off of the rhetoric these girls use. <laughs> so so um and JT, she's sitting up there talking about finessing and scamming, and she just got out of prison. I mean, I, I guess I guess she has a point when she says this is what we do in the streets. You know, this is what what we do in the streets. But like I said, I have yet to see a, rap, a male rapper. And I know there have been some male rappers that have rapped about their dick or what they do with their dick and these women and all this other stuff. Uh, but I, when when I when I see the rapping they're, they're the, the men are fully clothed, you know, they're in their image apparel, you know, whether it be a gangster image or be a. A, a, a cool homeboy's image or something like that and it really doesn't happen that often i don't see these guys in like in, in their speedos shaking their dicks in women's face or in group shaking their dicks talking about the entertaining women and shit you know <laughs> i mean for real it's like it that what i'm just saying at the end of the day is it's a dumbass comparison it's a dumb it really is a dumbass comparison and yes when y'all when 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 um when, when, when DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God say stuff like, you know, oh, well, women, what do, how y'all feel when, you know, women getting criticized about their lyrics? 
It's like, uh, what are you, what are you talking about? It's like, you know, like they, 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 they talk as if it's different from anything that the men have gone through. And those are lies. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like, then like I, I make the whole two live crew, two live crew were almost banned from doing music in the USA because of hypersexual lyrics. But our people, we go with the narratives that are pushed by people like this. Is not is not true. It, it, it's like it, it's like it, it's not. I wouldn't say not, maybe not not true, but is uh, people have always been scrutinized for their lyrics, and you have a problem because it's you. So you are bad bitch and all that stuff that you 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 don't care about what these niggas think about you <laughs> or whatever but you, you you get hypersensitive and you say dumb stuff in interviews every time somebody say something about you for real cardi b has had some sensitive moments <laughs> like a lot of moments so how bad a bitch are you just saying um uh, just, just, just saying, like, like, stop acting like and pretending like people being scrutinized. That the, like, people in 2020 act like that this is the first time that this scrutiny has ever happened. Like, like, it's just like, oh my god, I've seen it happen to so many others, but since it happened to me, now it matters. No, it doesn't. You're just afraid that you won't be able to legitimately. And that, and that goes for Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, and, and these two girls. They feel like they can't legitimately solidify a spot in the business. Just like the women in the background slideshow. Seriously, it wasn't tough for me to come up with these names as I was thinking about how I was going to make up this video. And, you know, I'm not, I, I just didn't want to take the time to edit the names in. So in the description, uh, I will have the order of appearance, it, you know, as far as the, the slideshow. So, you know, younger people who watch this video, who don't know who these women are, who want to ride with the narratives that are put out by these, I don't know, these brain derelict girls right here can, can see that this is BS. And, and and the same BS is being spewed for the past know, month, months, years, like just just trying to make this a sexism, misogyny issue. When in fact, you always have to go through a man anyway to get to your spot. Isn't that what the finessing and the scamming is about? The manipulating and taking advantage of men using your bodies and using your sex to do it? Isn't that what that's about? So here's a harsh reality. Unlike the legends that were in the slideshow, these girls will always need men more than they are willing to admit. You have to finesse, you have to scam, you have to take advantage of a man, but your whole reputation is based upon that. And, and, and honestly, finessing and scamming, you know what that's about? You have to make the person that you're scamming or finessing believe that you're authentic. You're giving the game away, girls. You're giving the game away. For free. Now, I'm not going to pretend like women haven't used sexualized lyrics before, but they had a rhyme and a reason with it. They had a scheme with it. You know, they had some skill behind it. Like, 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 let me tell you an example, Lil' Kim. You know, even though Lil' Kim was, you know, you know, sort of a sexualizing rapper, you know, um, she she was very sexy. She, you know, a lot of the pictures she took, you know, a lot, you know, men across America had their, the posters on their wall. But she had skill to back it up. Same thing with Foxy Brown. Had skill to back it up. These girls right here are think that they are entitled to greatness. Yeah, the delusion is seriously real with these two. And unfortunately... 
it is with a lot of our young women who are starting to adopt this mentality because I'll tell anyone, male or female, that you are entitled to nothing. This is There's a huge sense of entitlement here. Uh, it's, it's like you're saying to everyone, you don't need men, that you're not going to need men for this anymore, and then you keep saying stuff like this. You, there's a need for consistency here, but of course, you can't ask females with jaded logic to do this to make sense. That's too much. You got to understand. Um, in this article, you know, young Miami, you know, when she talks, she comes off as she was kind of the, she was kind of the reserve type, but you know, she just as much as a, a H bag as JT is. And she was like, yeah. And, and she talks about taking advantage of men. JT actually claims that a guy brought her while she was in high school, bought her an Altima that she wouldn't even let the guy get in with his income tax check. Now, to argue that, yeah, this is uh, 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 some man's fault that women are like this, I would totally and wholly agree with that. But at the same time, these women, especially like this, that with this mentality, they can't ever say they don't need men. Uh, you know, that it, I, I disagree that they they that they say that they had to get on a song with a man to really be popping off. So, you know, they have no respect for the history of women in music. And that's at the end of the day, all a lot of us brothers were just trying to say these lyrics are garbage, comparatively speaking. Like, share, subscribe and Kev We Trust. Goodbye.